Hi guys, welcome to the system. I've been rising it, as they say. It's the ISO of Arcanlux B Plasma that I've used, and it's the one from the holiday release mid July. And I'm gonna make you a video about the latest, newest ISO. I have everything ready. I have a template. I can clone the templates, templates, and then I'm gonna call it XS. So it's extra small, no software, but it has something, some extra letters. It has LTS. And if you type in Arch Linux Wiki kernel or something, or Linux, you'll find that LTS stands for Linux, uh, sorry, for long-term support. So we have for you guys a one ISO with LTS. Some of us, well, there's lots of hardware out there. Some of us can't do anything with the Linux kernel. So basically you boot up with an Arch Linux LTS kernel at that point in time. And then you start here, like so. Control F, and then we explain what you can do here. What's important for you to know is that the Arch Linux XS ISO and the Arch Linux XS LTS ISO have virtually no difference. They're not different at all, except the Linux kernel. So one has a Linux kernel, the other one has the Linux LTS, the long-term support. That's it. All the rest I'm gonna explain is exactly the same thing. So you can boot up with either an older system, which is the BIOS system, or a newer, is UFI or EFI, and you'll see the same lines. I've made another video where you see the UFI lines. I think that was the Arclinix XS ISO video. Let's stick now to this one. The point is that an ISO contains drivers. It contains the kernel. The kernel knows a lot of hardware. But there are also a few XF86 video drivers on there as well. But it's still open source. This one is also open source, but we're gonna remove the Nouveau because we've learned that Nouveau sometimes gives trouble but then for NVIDIA. So we've had an, a user who says, look, I can't boot. I can't boot with this line. I need to boot with NVIDIA, but Nouveau can't be present. Never, ever. So voila, we've made an extra line and all the users that have this particular hardware that's, yeah, sensitive to the fact that the Nouveau is there, it's now removed. If it is all too technical, the thing is, you, you want to boot up into something graphical and in the end you want to reboot and, anti and look at something in colors, not in black. So the point is, try out, trial and error. What if you a totally noob, beginner in Linux, choose the first line, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. And this one is like telling to Linux, forget about all the drivers that they're on there, just don't bother and just give me a very small, you'll see, I think it's around 800 and 600 pixels or something. It's gonna be rubbish in look, but you'll have something graphical. That's the point of the no mode set. All right, so choices to boot up to ensure that as many people as possible boot up into something graphical in the end. This is a virtual box. There's no need for NVIDIA. There's, it doesn't require it. So I'm gonna boot up with open source. I could go for no nouveau, doesn't need it either. I mean, it's, where are you, right? Uh, what system do we have? AMD, Nvidia, Intel, it all matters. So choose those lines, one of those lines. And remember, this machine needs that, that machine needs that. And later on, we have learned about Inksy, one of the commands and others, then you can learn okay look i have an nvidia card such and i need driver such and everything works because there are three drivers for nvidia the latest hardware probably is gonna be fine with the nvidia driver but there's also the nvidia 340 and nvidia 390 so you want to learn maybe about those later on this is also new so we are only making videos how to install. If 
it really changes, right? And that's why we've put this on the article. Let's go there and show you this video is going to go not here, but it's interesting to maybe have a look here. Article info editions start here. This is the overview of all the ISOs that we provide because it can be quite daunting, right? We have 27 ISOs. What to choose? Here it is. What we're doing now is talking about the extra small, but with the LTS kernel in it. What I wanted to go to is probably this page then. Um, yeah, so we have here articlinks.com. If you want to start and learn how to boot, how to be able to boot into Linux, you need to set some things in BIOS, UFI. Pre-installation is interesting and installation is interesting. And the video we're gonna show you, I think I need to press the button here, installation. We'll add something extra because there is Articlinux XS. And now there's also how to install Articlinux XS dash LTS. So it's all explained how to install this, how to do that. Check out the videos, check out the articles, check out the websites. We're paying for it. Please use it. All right. So we've made something new. Let's go from what we instinctive, instinctively feel top to bottom. Update Arch Linux mirrors means I'm living in Asia, I'm living in Australia, I'm living in North America. The Arch Linux servers are spread around the world. You want to have the fastest servers for your country or for your continent. So you ask Arch Linux, hey, what's the fastest done, changed? What as advice we give from time to time is to tell people, look, if Calamaris crashes is because it can't understand what you've done to the hard disk. You may have installed like 16 partitions on there with 16 Linuxes, right? Might be possible. So remove anything that's available in here and start with a clean slate. This is a virtual box. It's always a clean slate. Well, the way I do it, I clone everything every time, right? So select anything. This is your, your dustbin or your wastebasket and then apply. Boom, it's gone. You've got a clean slate and then, and that's new. In May, 2021, we went all out and we said, we want to give freedom to the people and it's still there. The freedom is here. That's the first version for later. But here you need to know what packages, what this, what does this mean, right? What, why, why would I click this or why not? That's knowledge, that's videos, that's watching, that's learning. Here we try to tell you, if you want an NVIDIA, you start and boot up with it. You select it in the bias that you want NVIDIA. You select it in the UFI that you want NVIDIA, but even now you can select it. You can change your login manager. Some people need to do that. I can point that out already. That, um, oh, how was it called again? The application to switch between Intel and NVIDIA. Mm -mm. And let's see, it's called Omtibus Manager, right? Some people reported it's not working with SDDM and we have standard installed SDDM. So maybe if you already hear something like that, oh, then you might consider I'll install LightM. So, but it, this is all knowledge, right? It comes with the years, it comes with the uh, study and, and learning about it. You choose Arclinx tools, maybe things that you like that you say, okay, installation of, of Steam, super easy, just a click and boom, Meta is installed, the Steam is installed. All kinds of packages is you need to know and need to learn. And in the end, a few men, months later, maybe, you have figured out that's gonna be my workflow. Editor, I'm gonna take as editor this, as browser that, etc. etc. So all these choices for a beginner is difficult. I get that now. So stop, we've made a beginner installation. 
So let's go for the beginner installation. And of course, the same version, but here you just decide, well, first off, the language. You're keeping it to American English, it tells you where you live. If that's not, cor not correct, you just change the pin to somewhere else. That's the main thing here. Choose the right keyboard, the one you're having now, using by default. And that's the only technical thing that we still have. And I don't want to, to give that away. I mean, I could block this like some Linux distributions do, that it's always going to be this. And you can't select this, but it's that anyway. No choice. I want to give you that freedom here to say, OK, I, had, I, I need to swap or I don't need a swap. This is a small swap, meaning if you don't have enough memory, just make a small uh, space uh, on your hard disk that if the memory is not enough it's gonna write there the same goes for hibernate but it's a lot bigger it's always bigger than the amount of memory you have I have 8 gigabytes 8.8 .8, that's 10% more so everything that's open when I hibernate is gonna move there and when I boot up again it's gonna move back to the memory that's swap with hibernate and then there's the file. File is interesting. First of all, it's two gigabyte. It's more than the, the, the normal Calamaris setting. And secondly, secondly, there's a super simple script that makes it from two to 20, two to 10, two to 12. You type in the number and it just will make it bigger. So that's also an idea. Let's maybe this time take the swap to file. So that's the choice. And I don't, did forget to tell you that we have choices in file system. So it's gonna format the system somewhere like NTFS is a formatting system. This is also a file system, X4 is commonly taken, but later on maybe you can decide, I'll take BTRFS or I'll take F2FS, etc., etc. Read and become more knowledgeable, but Basically, I would stick in the beginning with X4 and one of those choices. Next, what's your name, password, login automatically, yes or no. Use the same password administrator account. Please do, certainly if you're a beginner, it's gonna be easy. It's always the same. Whether you're Eric or whether you're root, it's gonna be the same password, easy. And one last question. We don't have this in advanced, we do have this in beginner. Are you sure? Right? And then it will overwrite everything and everything is gone. And it will make, well, copy paste everything over. What you see is what you get. Remember that. What you see, WYSIWYG, right? What you see is what you get. This will be on your system, which is nothing. There is no browser, there's no internet category here. So, no browser you'll need to say sudo pacman minus s firefox. you got a browser, so it's that easy. You don't need the advanced to install a browser. You can do that later. So there you are. Main difference, again, let me stress that. There is no difference with the XS. Oh yeah, there is a difference. The kernel, that's it. There is another kernel. And for the guys of Nvidia, there is another NVIDIA package, NVIDIA minus LTS, right? So they always go together, NVIDIA and a kernel. It's like a marriage, you can't break them up. Yeah, I need to get my databases and then I can show you. You see? There's the NVIDIA for the Linux kernel, the NVIDIA LTS for the Linux LTS kernel, and anything else is the DKMS, so Zen and Hardened, those guys. So there you go. You got yourself a later on an LTS system, hoping that often um, webcams, wireless, maybe, yeah, you other devices, but certainly those two are often better recognized because of the LTS. Also Ethernet, right? Ethernet, so the LAN cable. LTS is long-term support. Some 
hardware is then recognized that's not recognized in the Linux kernel and that's why we gave it to you this Linux LTS ISO so you get support for the hardware that you need straight out of the ISO all right enjoy